Hey guys, what to do everybody? Hey guys, my name is Ziza. Um, it's your boy Tando. My name is Charlie. And I am living in Johannesburg. Straight in LA. I'm based in Johannesburg. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution we are on the road to 2k so please guys let's do best also turn on your post notifications so that you know every single time I post I am back with quarantine content <laughs> today we're gonna be talking about quarantine and chill courtesy of the coronavirus aka COVID-19 we are going to be comparing life in America versus South Africa. Tando and I are going to be representing America because we are both in America at the time, but we are both South African. And Charlie and Zizo are going to be representing South Africa because that's where they are right now. So let's get into it. <laughs> Hectic. Um, confusing. I would say surreal. I just feel like Ashton Kutcher is just gonna like come in a helicopter and just be like, you've been punked. For myself particularly, I wouldn't say I've been affected financially in terms of COVID-19 because I haven't stockpiled on anything and I'm gonna have to get sanitizer in the early days. So the reason I personally didn't stockpile is because I'm fortunate enough to, to be able to go home. You know, back home I mean, my parents' house and whatnot. So most likely that's where I'll be during this whole quarantine phase. I've been financially affected by the coronavirus, um, mostly in, in the means of our currency, like fluctuating just so much uh, because my, my parents send me money, obviously my parents in South Africa, uh, and I'm here in LA, like they send me money and really the economy just flopping, just like really, really affected that because that means uh, obviously they can't send me more money but uh, even whatever they send, it becomes less just because of the, the conversion rate that has just gone up in the skies. One dollar, 18 rand. Mad thing, bruv. Mad, it's the new euro. Why? It's gonna touch 18 just now. Carry 18. Yo, willele, willele. Guys, even though I am receiving less money, like things like food and housing aren't going down it just puts everyone in just a really weird situation financially i haven't had to move from where i'm staying which was good because i i um i rent an apartment so it's not like i was at a student residence so i haven't had to move out and find another place um in terms of food um yes of course that other race is um i'm kidding <laughs> um of course there are people who have just gone crazy and started you know stocking up on food and so obviously the grocery stores are empty but they're being restocked and i just don't have the energy to go fight for food so you know that god god has me covered if i eat i eat if i don't eat i don't eat you know it's what it is bruv i would say that the corona pandemic has had a more financial strain than a relief because i am studying in stellenbosch in western cape and i came back home two weeks earlier and obviously i planned my budget according to that you know so i had to book a flight and flights were so expensive by the way normally you get a flight for like a thousand 1.2 but then that time when i was booking a flight to come back home it was like 3.2 you know it was just crazy like everyone was just going back home because of this whole thing and i mean at the end of the day like you had to pay that money because you want to go home you know everything was just happening so fast at the time and we just weren't sure what the president was going to say you know maybe he was going to lock down the country and then you're stuck there so you don't want to take that chance and so the next flight that was going to Joburg, like i was there so it did really have a financial strain in terms of relief i would say that i was supposed to go out with friends and stuff but then because we're practicing like social distancing i have saved money on you know spending on petrol so yeah i guess i saved but you know the strain you know exceeds and since the whole corona thing happened school actually got shut down and a good sis was homeless 
for a grip, an actual grip. I'm gonna release a story time talking about it next week. But anyway, because I'm living in school, it means I was eating here at school, everything I needed was like here at school. But since the whole corona thing, I've had to spend money on food. I've had to buy like tons of food. I'm, normally I would just be buying snacks or you know, light meals or anything like that to get by. But now I'm buying food for survival. I'm having to buy food, I'm having to buy water. And water has run out in the shops, like as in these, the, the, the things are empty, you know what I mean? And because water is sold out, you find that people have left only the expensive brands on the shelves. And so you have to like pay more just to have water, you know what I mean? And for me to go to Walmart, I have to use Uber. I don't have a car or anything like that. Um, so I have to use Uber, which is basically risking my life, all that personal close contact, lack of social distancing. But I have to use Uber to get there and to get back. So something that I forgot to add that I had to do a selfie video to add is that I work at school. I have two jobs at school that pay me. And so because school is now shut down, that means I have no source of income. I'm unable to do both of my jobs that I have. And so that means that first of all, I'm having to spend money on food, but also the two jobs that paid me have been suspended. And also the exchange rate. How can I forget to add all these things? What's wrong with me? The exchange rate is now, I think it's one dollar to I think it's 17 and so the exchange rate has increased drastically which means it's more expensive for me to be living here it's more expensive for my parents to be sending me any kind of money in general there's an increased amount of things that i have to buy um and my money means less like rands are less to send money is more expensive and also i am missing two sources of income thank you coronavirus personally and emotionally i wouldn't say it has affected me much to be honest because i just still feel like it's surreal it's affected me more like in a spiritual sense i wouldn't say whether like if i'm happy or sad or whatever but i think in a in a spiritual sense it's really made me think that like we are living in the end times you know like we've never as a country we've never faced something like this and so for you to actually endure this period and you're just thinking like you everyone is just like on this thing of fix your relationship with with god with jesus christ is coming soon it just feels a lot more real now because you know we're living during the thing you know so it's really I would say that's the only way that it's affected me. I find myself like sometimes just sitting and being like, surely this isn't real. It doesn't feel real. I know it's real, but it doesn't feel real. It feels like I'm in some kind of a horror movie and it's like a joke. Like, how am I living in this? How am I living through this right now? It's hard. It's tough. So like I said, school got shut down, meaning everybody moved out and there's like very few people here. It's lonely, man. The loneliness is really starting to creep in. Um, you find yourself feeling just lonely and you know the first few days of being by yourself being um, whether you're social distancing or you're in quarantine the first few days are like you know this is nice being away from people you know my social battery had run out so I wanted to be alone the first few days is great you don't have to wear a bra you're just living your life but then after the first week and you realize that it's continuing and there's more weeks of this loneliness really starts to sink in and the lack of your regular routine really hurts it like it really slaps. i basically went from being busy all the time between classes and meetings and stuff to now being in my room the whole time i've also experienced increased stress and anxiety because of school so my courses are now online i'm an accounting major so you can imagine that my courses are accounting i have a science in astronomy i've got economics and having these classes online is not the most ideal things and some professors are not really suited for being online and i don't blame them of course and also being in america right now and not in south africa with my family of course you worry about your family you know are they okay is everything Everything fine you know what I mean you worry about your country even you know when I, I watch all these uh, serial updates and whatnot and when you see these things happening you worry about your country you worry about your people and you worry about your family and there's nothing you can do about it except pray what I can say is that as a person I, I have never went more than one day without physical contact with another human being in terms of being in the presence of another human being so 21 day quarantine would be detrimental to me. I would not be able to do it. 
And that's why I've chosen to go and be with family rather and quarantine with them. It's a blessing, but it can also have its downsides. You know, when you're used to living alone, when you're used to being independent, you're used to sort of like working in your own, working with your own rules and your own time, you know? So when you're around family, there's that constraint. You're not used to being there. You're not used to being sent around. So yeah, although it's a blessing to be around them, it has its downsides. So for me as a person, I'm just not a person who likes to stress. I don't like to worry about things. And so like during this time, it's just been very confusing because first of all, like you're isolated, you're in your house. Weirdly enough, the other day I found out I had roommates, crazy. Um, so yeah, you're just like stuck in your house with only like two or three other people to talk to. Um, I would have gone home, but I just feel like ah, I would have been you know fighting with your parents also ah wi-fi is slow also carry s comes doing that thing ah it was just the mess so i was like yo i'm gonna stay here but um i think i i i do a part of me does wish that i was at home um and like uh emotionally i i'm i'm okay emotionally as I, I would like to think that i'm okay yeah my sleeping schedule is kind of just like all over the place right now and i don't know how i'm gonna get back to things like normally after after all of this and in this time you know it's a like, hey, it's, it's rough that side by <laughs> by mjolo side hey, it's tough that side by relationship side hey it's tough hey i've been single but they quarantine just makes you a little, a little more single hey hey now people are 2 a.m they're calling you what are you doing can i come over like fam I, I tell you what, you give me the coronavirus and that. Yeah, that, okay, it's 2 a.m. I just want to cut. Hey, yeah, 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 no coddling for who? How can you be coddling this time? Can you not see people are dying? Ah, uh ah, -uh, this one. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. So my hair is a mess. Yeah, haircut, guys. I'm not a haircut in a minute. The hair is suffering. The hair is crying. I can't get a haircut, obviously, because my barber's, my barber's in quarantine. Everything is closed. I'm not going to go into a barber shop and get razored, chill with 10 other niggas. So I'm probably just gonna go back to Scruffy Tandor. And so I just got my head wrap swag on. It's, it's gonna stay like this for a while. Yo, guys, please send help, hey? Yo, please, I beg, send help and a hairdresser. It's been a great chance and a great opportunity for innovation. People now realize that you don't necessarily need to be at the office from nine to five in order to function. Definitely just, you know, introspecting. I think this is a great time for people to reflect. People who are always out with friends and being with people, now they are forced to, you know, look at themselves, self introspection. And it's tough, it's tough, it's not nice. It's just drawing me closer and closer to God. Having me time. I'm gonna learn how to, 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 to swim books. I mean, I can swim here today, but I need to learn how to do like, you know, all those Olympic strokes and whatnot. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with sitting at home and just, just sitting and doing nothing. Guys, we all need that. I think it's giving people the time off that life never awarded you before, you know? And it's kind of tricky because yeah, it's giving you that, you know, time off life never awarded you, but you know, the stress of rent and, and food and stuff is still there. So it's not a hundred percent break, but I think that's what a lot of people needed at this time to slow down. It's forced people to slow down. I feel like God is like trying to, to like tell us to like take a break, you know, like blom, relax. Um, I had a few people who were thinking of getting married, people like my age, they wanted to get married. And then this happened. I was like, God couldn't be speaking any louder. eh? God, because also me, I was just like, yeah, no, yeah, but, but I was like, yeah, so obviously God is saying, mm -mm, not now, babes, not, not now. During this time, it's just a time of reflection, a time of, you know, fixing your relationship with Jesus if it's not, you know. You can talk to God from anywhere. You can talk to God from the comfort of your own home. Can talk to God on the street, you know. Your relationship with God is personal. The one thing that is just helping me push through is my faith in God, and faith is I believe that faith is sort of is is directly connected to hope. And so I do have the hope that you know everything will get better, and hope is really connected to happiness. And so that's just what's kept me 
um, not necessarily happy, but I've just I've not been like down in the dumps and and depressed and stuff. And so yeah, I definitely think that spirituality has played like a big role in that. Two things are certain. Number one, there's nothing new under the sun. That which was is what is is what will be, and there is nothing new under the sun. And number two, as a result of there being nothing new under the sun, you must know that God is God, and God is God always. No matter what is going on, God is alive. God is here. You know. Now is not the time for you to run away from him and say, God, if you cared about humans, why would you let this happen? If God was real, why would he let people die? Blah, 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 blah. Draw near to him in this time. Praise his name. Give him praise. Give him glory. Thank him. Even in this time where you're tempted to turn away from him, give him praise. Give him glory. You know, he is God and he listens. He answers prayers. You know, he's close to the brokenhearted. He's close to those who are scared. And God commanded us, man. He said, do not be afraid. Be of good cheer. Be courageous. I know I quoted these last time, but worry about nothing pray about everything honestly in this time we need to give it all to god please i must urge you again go back to the cross go back to jesus go to him pray to him seek his face you know he says draw near to me and i will draw near to you he says that if you search for me with all your heart you will find me search for him with all your heart draw near to him and pray pray for yourself pray for your family pray for your loved ones we need to be strong in faith So one sentence of five words to encourage people. Bro, why does your thing look like an A? It feels like an English exam. Can it five words? Ah, to encourage people. Fix your relationship with Jesus. Pray, stay inside, wash hands. Only God can save us. Guys, I'm not gonna do five words. All I'm saying is that guys, relax. Um, try not to stress during this time. Uh, it may feel like a lot, but honestly, just look at it at a time for you to spend with yourself and improve yourself as a person um especially with the use of the internet you know just get on there look look at some some positive content and really impart in your life and i do think that everything will be okay so guys before i sign off this video i just want to say that you're not alone you're not crazy to be feeling what you're feeling and times are tough yes but we need to be tougher we need to be tougher than the tough times because that's the only way that we are going to see our way through this. I urge you, please reach out to people, seek support from friends, from family, from counselors, from therapists, anyone who you feel can help you, who you need to talk to, please do reach out. But I must say that the ultimate help comes from God. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please go make sure that you subscribe to Tando and Zuzo's channels. And guys, comment down below what your experience has been and any words of encouragement that you have for anyone down there that you think they might need or words that you told yourself because you needed it. Peace and love, guys.